Matching. Matching. Good morning and welcome to the Paris vlog. Me and Emily are up on a Sunday at 7.50. No, 6am. We were up at 6 and we are heading to Paris for five days. We're there for actually quite a while so we're at Ipsfleet to get to St. Paris and then our train is at 9.30 to get us into Paris at like 12ish. We managed to somehow have matching clothes. We both ordered and these and without telling anyone. Like we didn't tell each other we'd ordered these clothes and we did tell each other we were going to be wearing them and they are literally like the exact same. We have got lots of luggage again. Emily's is so big and heavy. Ready for Paris. Paris take two. Last time we were with mum and Nikki our auntie. Uh, this time we're, we're doing it. Stressful. This time we're doing it solo. Just us two and yeah very looking forward to it and yeah this is the start of the Paris vlog. I've, we've both got our makeup on. We're looking a little bit more presentable now. We did it basically. The Eurostar went so quickly, and then all of a sudden we were like, we haven't done our makeup. Yeah, I think it's because the time, you know, it jumps. Probably yeah, like, well, we hour. jumped an hour ahead as well. So, this is a lot more of a relaxing. calm trip than last time already, because last time we tried to get the metro. Is it the metro? Yeah. Here? And honestly, they don't have any escalators this time. We've got all our luggage in a nice little Uber. Oh, this has been, so good. yeah, time does. Although, time what have we usually done by half one on a Sunday? Not a lot. So, we've literally gone to Paris. That taxi ride. <laughs> Yeah, I, I it was not seven minutes. It was like we were probably there I half an hour. That. I thought I was going to fall asleep in the car. Like That's half an hour. Wait, right, I don't. Know. How much has it charged us? Basically, that, that was ten pound. No, it was not eight pounds something. <laughs> I don't understand how we got that. And it was like for 40 eight pounds. Minutes, I think that is mental. We were there in there for ages. So much traffic, and I'm it was a, a far journey too. We've checked in at our hotel, so we're just staying in. It's an Ibis hotel. It's called the Tour Eiffel Camp cam something we've checked it it's quite a small room it's just very basic but i guess it's doing what we need we're on the top floor double bed it is quite just small i would say this is quite a nice size mirror i don't really know what's going on over yeah, here is this is our wardrobe how's that our wardrobe we can't i'm gonna I actually have to hang stuff as well because it's creasing no, why is it that in the hotels you get like four hangers <laughs> honestly it's like being on a plane. it is a very small bathroom this is our hotel lobby and it's got a snack. <laughs> it's got a snack, but look, it's a pasta box, spaghetti bolognese. And then they've got like burgers, paninis, a pizza. That is the weirdest thing I've ever before. seen to put into a microwave. But how would you put how much do you reckon it is? Type it in. How much is pasta? It's one one four one. Oh, I was going to say one. Eight, Eight euros. Euro. <laughs> Jesus, you're well expensive. 7.50 7 for a burger. Jeez, I'd rather go across the road. We're waiting for another Uber. Oh These are the outfits that we've gone for. And we're heading to La Avenue. Oh yeah, there's like a really cool Eiffel Tower thing cool here. Gym. Um, it's got like the leaflets in it. It's like a little structure. Okay, quite, what is the leaflet for actually? <laughs> points oh it's a map <laughs> we've come to la avenue for a late lunch we've just taken our pictures i'm actually a bit cold now I said, um, I yeah well it's because we've been standing still it's, i think it's like by the champ de i want to say it's like by dior and all the designer shops we are at la avenue and we've been given little nibbles and we're gonna know. have basically i'm a bit confused by the menu because like the where are the chips i'm so cold so emily's given my coat her coat even <laughs> we have got the pavlova which looks very nice and very this was 22 euro and we got lattes let's just appreciate the cost of this finally eating the pavlova it's very good 
Very tasty. We're demolishing it. Too bad, I could not eat that as one. Well, yeah, she was like one easy. I was like, not easily. We've left La Avenue. Everyone's going on about this car. Hopefully, I don't even know if it's something special. It's probably like a million pounds. Yeah. We're in Dior, trying our sunglasses. Like, I feel a bit like Willy Wonka. These ones are sweet. They're actually all right on. I like, you know how That's it's basically the same with the Gucci ones. This Dior is insane. They have got like a full on cafe going on. It's so cool. It's very expensive though. This is a bit like Dior Gallery. So they've got like this on the inside, which looks really nice. Take a pair of These are my favorite ones. Oh, I just put my one. <laughs> they are similar, these ones, to your Prada ones. Oh, oh yeah. my. <laughs> I was saying, let's, let's not do that. I think I prefer the old one. What, what's your name already? Katie. Katie and? Emily. Emily. Welcome to the new show of Katie and Emily. Today, our guest <laughs> is uh, me, myself, and the specialist of Dior. So, what do we have today? This is the good salesman here. <laughs> this is the new, the new, the new Dior necklace. necklace. Which is very cute. the old Dior necklace. Me and Emily are going to get them at the chin. Yeah, I prefer that. <laughs> Got my long neck apparently. <laughs> I do like the gold though. It is weird because it is like quite big once it gets over the knuckle. Thanks for the compliment on my knuckles. They've never been complimented before. They're in the Dior toilets. They are very cool toilets. And we've just come out. And I may be making a ring purchase. These are cool toilets. <laughs> They're well cool. Yeah. I'm doing that on purpose. There's our vlog. These are glasses. Cheers to you. <laughs> That like you can do little cheers like that. Like that looks cute. <laughs> yeah, you wanna be in it. This is our sales guy. What was your name? My name's Nian. Nian. She said nice. <laughs> is that apple juice? Nice big glass of apple juice. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. First time seeing the Eiffel Tower at night, but we have left your. And we're heading back. Where's Em? Oh. <laughs> Slight of a different location. Basically, nowhere's open because it's a Sunday and we didn't know what to get for food. So we've ended up in this little cafe near our hotel and we've ordered French onion soup. It actually looks quite good and bread, which I'm looking forward to. We got this last time and I actually do love French onion soup. So looking forward to this. <laughs> a little bit hot. This is like proper Paris. <laughs> we're back in the room. I'm just having a little Starbucks quarantine and my bag's down there. I unboxed it, but I wanted like a proper unboxing of that. And we're just doing our Instagram stories. But yeah, that has been day one in Paris. Good morning. It is our first official full day in Paris. We woke up. I literally jumped out of bed because um, we set an alarm for, well, Emily set an alarm for half seven. She went, Katie, it's quarter past eight. And I literally jumped out of bed. So we're a little bit behind schedule, but we've got ready. We're gonna go to Giraffe for lunch, but it's for 12 p.m. So it's kind of like an early lunch. And then maybe go and try and find like a little croissant for just in the meantime, maybe if we've got time in the in between, we'll go and get some content and stuff as well. So I'll show you our outfits. We've both got our hair. It's also so sunny today as well. So I feel a bit like Sandy from Greece and we're giving like schoolgirl vibes. <laughs> so this is, do you want to say where outfit's from? Uh, the jumper is Boohoo. The shirt is from Zara, skirt Zara. Socks, Primark, shoes. Boo -hoo. Oh, boo -hoo. Boo -hoo. So my jacket is from Primark. It's actually a real good find from there. Um, this is a shirt which I've had for a while from Zara. This is like an odd muse dupe from Boohoo, Little Chanel tights and Miss Pat Bees. Yeah, this is the outfit. I feel not like me. This is not my usual style at all. Also, we never even said about yesterday, but yesterday we went into Dior and I bought myself Dior ring, which I'm wearing today. And I've had my eye on it probably since before Christmas, um, or for, ever since Emily got it really, but they released some <coughs> bigger sizes. So I got this ring and the guy was hilarious in there. Honestly, we did the funniest TikTok. Should I show you? Oh, it? wait, where's my Look, I'll, I'll show you. I'll, 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 I'll show It's honestly hilarious. We had so much fun. I was in there for like two hours. I haven't this today, if yeah. somebody says no, you know what I say, you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> Honestly, the guy was like giving off some props. Everybody was like, any props? He was like, a hat, a bag. I went a large props, a large props, props. loads of large props. That was so funny, he was good. But we've got to go back because I didn't even do the tax thing right. So we've got to go back and we'll probably see him again. We have arrived at a little bakery. I just saw this like random one on TikTok. It's called Chez 
Manuri or something. So we're gonna go inside and have a little look. Oh my god, this is nice. Like a proper look. Um, they got all the baguettes. I know. This is what we wanted last night. And look at that. Oh The burrata. That looks. This looks good. This was a good. Oh, the cinnamon bun. That cinnamon roll looks insane. And look at all the little cake. Oh my god, there's too much to choose from. Chocolate brioche. And um, look at that, a chocolate covered croissant. Oh, <laughs> and this is what I got in Amsterdam and that was like the best thing I had ever eaten. We have been a bit cheeky and we bought the croissants from the other shops. We got a chocolate almond croissant, chocolate like brioche bun and a pistachio one. And then we've come to this little coffee shop which is the Eiffel Tower is literally right here. Such a sunny spot and we've got a coffee and I got iced coffee which I'm kind of happy about it. looks a lot bigger. Might mix it a little bit. And it is a very nice sunny. day. It is literally pure sun. So we're going to go and do our TikToks before they tell us off for bringing in our own croissants. <laughs> this is what? terrible. Would you rate the croissants? They yeah, are. Okay. They <laughs> are <laughs> insane. Chop the armor one. Yeah, also, best latte I've had in Paris. Uh, oh, it's the best latte I've had in Paris. So, so far. The best last. <laughs> so far. No, the lattes out here are a bit different. And then I've got this huge slice of pistachio. What was this called? Uh, cafe Cafe Mil cream. Ca oh, cream. Cafe cream. <laughs> what is it? A wasp in my head. Wasp! Hey, God! So what is going on? Um, yeah, this is actually a really nice soup. spot, but we've made a right mess. But yeah, this is perfect in the sun. We have had our second fail of today. I said this morning, we always have, our second day is always a fail wherever we go. So no, the second fail was, was the croissant place. What? Oh, well, wait. we couldn't get a seat because we it was shut. Oh. This place that we're going to now. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, oh my God, look at that dog. So we booked a reservation at Giraffe thinking we were going to be sitting outside. It's quite expensive as well, like, it's quite fancy. We went there and outside seating is shut. So it opens um, around May. They open around May for outside seating and I feel like that was the whole reason we went. So we were inside and we were like, do you want to stay here? So basically we got up and just was like, we thought it was outdoor seating. So that was the foul. So we're not actually going to be eating at Giraffe anymore. And we're going back to a place called Divino, which is like along the street. We wanted to go there for a coffee this morning, but they didn't open till 12. So kind of a result now that it's open. So we're going to go there yeah, for- Yeah, but now it's going to be like all the stuff. Now it's going to be really busy. <laughs> I it looks shaded. Um, so we're gonna go there and it's got like an Eiffel Tower view. I just feel like it's gonna be nicer than the inside of Giraffe. I feel like Giraffe is only nice on the outside. Okay, this is the spot, so it's called Divino. And at the end, there is the Eiffel Tower. What's the menu like? We haven't even, oh, pasta, pizza. pizza, pizza. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this is a good decision to do. Oh, this, is, the this is the current situation. Look, it went all the way to there and it all Sad little yeah. olive down there. That what a so sad funny. little life. This is the current situation. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> olives and breadsticks. Actually, we'll turn out a turn olive. I don't even like black olives, really. They're not strong, though. We've ordered our food as well. Looking forward to it. We got a coffee. Oh, it's so <laughs> <my skin. laughs> Emily got a coffee, like when you bought a boy. Uh, oh, I thought it spilled okay. That's actually a good coffee. Damn it. That's better than the one. That is better time. than the other one. And it's frothy on top. And you get a biscuit. Perfect. And it's hot. It looks proper It hot. looks really hot. <laughs> yeah, when you order, it was on their lunch menu. When you order a main, you got a coffee. We've got our starter. I, to be honest, I didn't really know what we ordered, but this is like a mozzarella, burrata, and aubergine kind of tomato dish. And we got bread with it. Emily's got a coffee. I don't even know what this is. I think it's got a filling. It looks like pesto. Is it, is it pesto on the top? Mine is a little bit scary. I didn't expect it to come like this, but we have got full on prawn situation going on here. I thought it was just going to be like the prawns, but we've got like the whole thing. Also, I thought it was a tomato sauce. <laughs> I'm sure she said tomato, but there was a bit of a barrier. Oh, don't say that. I don't know if I filmed this earlier, but we are back by the Eiffel Tower and the sun. It's just so warm in the sun, but this is a really good, like, spot up here this is where we are place place de trocado right and we're going to try and find this newspaper thing i saw it on tiktok and basically they do like a picture of you and put it on like the front of a newspaper but i have no idea where it is it says it's somewhere around here so wish us luck we just had a photo shoot outside the eiffel tower with one of the photographers 
and he gave it to us all for free. It was so good. He was so nice. We got loads of pictures together now, which is nice. This is us outside the Apple Tower together. So we just got those photos, which was good. Um, for free and then we just walked past our old airbnb where we stayed last time but this is like fully sold out now as well a little bit of deja vu there we're gonna head back to the room now i think we're actually probably earlier than we thought but it's quite nice just to sit down for a bit and, and we go out warm cold. up emily i've not been cold today I, you, you were emily yesterday and i was got basically i've got bare legs yeah so I mean, that's I've, the but to, oh, we, we have been so lucky with the weather. It is pure sunshine. Even the guy, the photographer, he was like, the day before yesterday, it's pouring with rain. We are in the taxi on the way to Gigi's for dinner. <laughs> it's actually a really good light. Um, I mean, I can't show our outfits because we're in a coat because it's absolutely freezing and we've got to get pictures after but we'll show you them later we have made it into Gigi I didn't know what the inside looked like but it's so pretty there's like a huge bit of glass it's just like you can see outside and this is our table which we're very happy about this is our plate this is our plate this is what we came for the Gigi plate we have got our drinks basically Emily wanted something strawberry I said just surprise me but they've given us the same they are like a strawberry he said mojito but it's definitely not minty it's so good cheers Em first night or second night in Paris. Okay, we got the pizza. Uh, pick it up. Why not? Don't get it down your dress though. We've got pizza to share with mozzarella. It looks nice. It's really runny. I love how you pop it in. Tasty. <laughs> it's just for you, your birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. What did you do? Yeah. Oh, it's your birthday. It's for me to sit down. Yeah, I did it for your birthday. Did you actually? Yeah, of course. It's your birthday trip. Why is everyone else getting it? Because it's their birthdays. <laughs> Are you lying? No, I just shook it, obviously. Go on then, what do you rate it? Good. Nice. It is very tasty. It is Tuesday. And we are up again and ready. I think Emily was a bit tired this morning. I think I woke, I woke up, Emily was like, I can't get out of bed. <laughs> um, we're looking a lot more presentable. Honestly, if you saw us this morning, literally <laughs> looked like a ghost. Went to Gigi's yesterday, would 100% recommend it. I feel like some people say it's like overhyped and it is quite expensive, but we got a pizza to share and a dessert to share and we were very full, like it was enough food. It's looking a little bit cloudier today. It's not as sunny. So we're gonna go to Kith for breakfast, which was a bit of a change of plan. We were gonna go correct, but I think just where everything is, it makes sense to go to Kith. These are the outfits. So mine's kind of similar to yesterday's, which is why I didn't know whether to wear it today, but my, this is like a um, shirt dress from Missy Empire. This little dress is from Boohoo. I've got loafers on and socks as well. My legs are gonna be so cold, I think, today. You are gonna but be I've got little loafers. Got these from Zara, actually, just before we came. And Emily's actually kind of wearing my outfit that I wore I on the first that. day. Oh, you I... look that. Your hair looks really nice there. Just what? what you did, just, really... No, what you just did then looked nice. <laughs> no, not just then. <laughs> No, just say it did. Anyway, um, we're ready to go out. I feel like they look a bit weird with that. Maybe. I don't, I don't like know. That. I think the other look better. <laughs> this is in our hotel. Emily's getting a vanilla latte. It's one euro fifty. It That's the cheapest coffee in Paris. My throat is so croaky today. Where's the lid? You're gonna have to get it. Oh, that looks. It's got a spoon in it. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god. It looks like the one in the red. Maybe <laughs> I've got to get. Oh, one euro fifty. <laughs> no, it's just got me. This is going to be our new morning thing. We successfully got the metro to the Champ de Elise, and that's the Arc de Triumph at the end. And this is the Louis Vuitton new hotel. It looks insane. Oh, Emily's just left me. We've come to Kith for breakfast. It's actually really pretty in here. Like, the whole roof is open, like, it's got a whole glass roof. And this is what it looks like. We've got these menus, which are the world's longest menus. So they clonk together. Like <laughs> yeah, this is Sadell's. No, yeah, you have to pull it forward. Um, and this is the menu, so I'm not sure what to get. They've got like the eggs, specialities. I always see people get their French toast. This is world famous avocado toast. Okay, I accidentally just destroyed this, but I didn't show it, but it did say kiff on it. So we got a cappuccino and then we got the bagels. So Emily got the sesame bagel. I got the everything but the bagel seasoning one. 
and then we've got some salmon and some tomato and cucumber. This is the most like bougie bagel I think I've ever seen. Don't take all the salmon now. <laughs> <laughs> I went like that, Kate. Oh. <laughs> That's why I love Oh, that's Instagram. That's reality that so now. Cool. We have constructed the bagels. You actually get loads. How's that for one person? That would never fit all in one bagel. I don't know how to explain it, but it just tastes really fresh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, actually, 10 out of 10 breakfast. This is the kit thing. It's really cool, the inside. But yeah, we've had our bagel. And we've just realised in the time, and we've actually been ages, but would recommend coming here. It was actually really nice. And the bagel's not too expensive either when you share it. This is right next to the... Ice cream. Oh, that's cool. The kip. Do we get one each? Ice cream swirl. Oh, look, oh, you pay for the homemade waffle cone, or you get it in a pot. One cereal plus one mixing. You choose your ice cream. You choose your cinnamon, and you choose your mixing. I'm making it. I got cookie, cookie crisp, and cookie dough. What did you go for? Do you remember? That thing. Basically chocolate Lakes, crisp I think, I and <laughs> Dame. Oh, oh my god! Look at him blending it. Honestly, so good. You have to come to it. I got the big one. Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, I thought that when you did it. Look, coming in okay. It's really I think really good. Yeah. Nice. I got cookie dough, and we got Dame. This angle. <laughs> it's so thick. I love the cone. Mm. It's actually kind of crazy. It's really cool. This is so good. Definitely tell me. I mean, it's expensive. It's like 12 euro for an ice cream, but it's quite. It's, it's a lot of it. ice cream, though. You could share. Like, it. I feel like you go, that would yeah. be one. You could two. share. We're in Jackamas. We got a lollipop. <laughs> it's an iron. <laughs> Look, where's the lollipop gone? We are now window shopping in Chanel. Yeah. Emmy tried some Chanel sunglasses on. Yeah, you can try them. Give them a you might like. I just, I do quite like the top. It's quite cool how it says that Chanel suit your face better than my face. I think so. Yeah. Emily's still being indecisive. <laughs> I'm now because she's taking so long. I'm window shopping and I love this belt. So now I don't know what to do. I do really like this CD belt. I was kind of looking at belts as well, but I'm like I can't spend anything else. <laughs> Like Casey's looking at her belt now. It's really cute. I do like it. We're being dined by Dior. Oh, <laughs> dined by Dior. <laughs> so we've got tea and coffee, and I'm not sure about this belt. I don't know. But I'm liking these cutlery. Yeah, Emily's gonna get these, which I do really like actually. Can't wait to wear those. Look at Emily. Look at us and Dior again. We spent half of our Paris trip in Dior. Yeah, I <laughs> We've been in here a while. Also, the tea bags are posh tea bags. We went to Rituals. Oh, except <laughs> And we're now in the Gallery Lafayette and we found this photo booth, which I saw someone doing in Kiss. Oh my god. Okay, we've just done it. I love how it's in black and white. Ugh, that one's so bad. No. I lit my cheekbones. Why do I like that? <laughs> I think it's so cute in black and white. Can we do another one? Yeah, we'll do one more. Success. Like I'm, I get a bit worried that my so I'm stressed. I think I looked away. <laughs> What's this one like? Take two of our night. We're starting in the taxi again and we are on our way to Crazy Horse, which I don't really know what to expect from, but I got Emily got it as her birthday present, as one of her birth presents. I can't show you our outfits again. Um, I'm in an old poly dress, but I'll show you it later on in the vlog somewhere. Made it to Crazy Horse. This is cool. This is giving a bit of Moulin Rouge. We break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you out but you come back That attraction we can't fight that We have nothing. just had the most traumatic face It's actually twitching. getting a bit less My knee. Okay, I don't care <laughs> Wait, let me turn this around My this knee's is, twitching This is the behind the scenes of Instagram I have no idea how those photos turned out Cute spot, not in the rain. This has been, honestly, this is Instagram most scratchy and there's actually multiple people doing it as well. Oh, is that our taxi? I, don't know. I pray. <gasps> I can't 
go and knock the cobbles. Ow, ow. Knock the cobbles. I feel like you know when your feet are so cold, cold. Yeah, everything hurts. To be fair, I'm actually not that cold. Hey, are you lying? I'm not. I'm actually, not be cold. My I'm feet are cold. So, I'm breathing steam. It's like Titanic <laughs> when he's like. <laughs> It's just wet. It's just like typical that it's not rained all day and that it's rained. But yeah, this is the reality. Oh, I feel like that was. I just... can't feel like I'm actually in so much. I feel traumatized. <laughs> These are the things Kate's put some truth. No, you yeah, would have I did, but I saw the rain and I was like, uh, it was not too a good late idea. by that point. Also, I just realized my shoes I'm wearing are like kind of suede. We saw the Eiffel Tower sparkle. That was cute in the rain as well <laughs> anyway we're gonna head back to the hotel now we went to crazy boss too i'll give you a rundown when we're in the walk for our hot chocolate <laughs> i can't wait for the one year 50 hot chocolate we're back we've got our uggs and we're getting hot chocolates from the machine literally the best machine now to exist in yeah, our hotel <laughs> we were like what the hell is that in the hotel now it's this is like our favorite thing <laughs> very happy that we're back in the room emily's like relieved i think we didn't really know what to expect because obviously we did moulin rouge if you've seen paris like vlog from a couple of years ago moulin rouge was really good like it was all about the show like it was really like busy lots going on different like acts and the costumes I think were a lot different whereas Crazy Horse I didn't really know what to expect but I heard a lot of people say they actually preferred Crazy Horse because it was more like small and intimate. Crazy Horse is more about the actual girls and like them basically being like Dark. naked and dancing whereas Moulin Rouge is a little bit more of a show. Out of the two if you're stuck between Moulin Rouge and Crazy Horse I would 100% recommend Moulin Rouge over crazy horse. I would crazy still horse, say like, to go to it. Yeah, like it's, it's just, still like, good. Like, it was still really good, but it like out yeah, out of the two I would have picked Moulin Rouge. We have got dessert, loaded millionaire shortbreads, and that has been our evening in Paris. Looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow evening it's not raining. It is Wednesday today, it's our last full day and Emily's just <laughs> tightening her up tightening. What's I say? Plaster and herself of, um, because of blisters. This is like the reality of wearing new shoes. I'm going to a gigantic croissant place this morning. This will go over my shoulders as well. But I've got this dress on from Zara and then this blazer is from Nasty Girl. But I'll like lay it over my shoulders. And then I will have my knee high boots in cream on. Uh, Zara, Zara, pretty little thing. And then. And a bow in your hair, the, which is the cute. The bow is black, and then my boots are public design. We've had a slight hiccup. Basically, I think this is the famous croissant, but everyone just takes it to their own cafe. So we have found it. It's inside the Gallery Lafayette. I think there's two, but it's from a place called Philippe Contesini. They have one in London, I think and they are absolutely humongous. Like I wish I could get one to put next to it to show you, but it's huge. So they've got the chocolate one and then they've got the like plain one as well. So we're gonna get one of these and take it to a cafe, I think. We're gonna pay like 35 euro for it or something, but I feel like it's worth it. We've secured the goods, but we are gonna get something savory. Get one of these baguettes. Maybe the brie one. We've just got a spot of breakfast or brunch, I guess. Um, so this I thought looked nice. I saw it in the other one when we went to the bakery the other day. Emily's underwhelmed. I feel like it's not really much favour. But it's actually a breakfast. It would have had it warm if it didn't have the rocket on it. Me and Emily have been getting all the content. This is the croissant. It is, do you want to pick it up just for size reference? <laughs> Basically, we we're about to tear it for a video, so I wanted to get it on here quick before we ruin the croissant. Look at the size. <laughs> for reference, that is mental. But we got a hot chocolate, which is still actually a little bit warm. It's getting cold now though, but we're getting all the content. So everyone's looking as well. Like everyone's like, can I stop and take a picture? This is mental. Actually, I hope the hot chocolate's actually warm. Yeah, and the cream, how is it not melted? When I melt it at home, it literally all melts, but this has stayed really well. This is the aftermath. Yeah. Honestly, in a mess. Like this, yeah, take a picture aftermath of doing the TikToks. That is the most insane whipped cream on that hot chocolate. That's actually a good croissant. I said if I had chocolate, it would be good, but it's not chocolate croissant. Yeah. Basically, we're on Nutella right now. I didn't even get, I just got cream. We was just saying, someone just said, be careful with your phone, because to be fair, like, what we just did. The phone was in the middle of the The train. tripod <laughs> was in the middle of the road, basically. Just done a little photo shoot in this spot here. It's got like double mirrors. It's quite a good spot, actually, opposite this place. I think it's sort of Hotel Scribe, it's called. We just saw some Love Island people as well. They're obviously on a trip. What was it? Yeah, but they were on a trip with l'oreal by the sounds bit um and now we're gonna go to the museum i think these are the pictures by the way hotel de la marina got to hotel de la marina 
and you have to pay like I think it's 13 euro to get in and to be honest there's only one room that we actually want to go into so I think we're just going to pass on this one and do the next thing. So Bella's new to it. She's got a little pink teddy. It is like the one we got in Barcelona. Right we went to the St. Laurent Cafe. Shut again. If you watched the last Paris vlog <laughs> we were unlucky then but like no but the point is the whole of the St Laurent is shut because it says there's renovation works going on so I don't know if it's shut or if it's just closed it's crazy. We should never come to St. no it's we're never fine. gonna get it we're <laughs> never gonna get the <laughs> to be fair I wasn't really wanting it anyway but I would have just got one just to get it okay we're now where next? to next now we go to the Emily in Paris where she works we found the location this is Emily in Paris's Work office, savoir. This is where I work. This is where Emily works. <laughs> Captured something to see. We realised we're right by the Louvre. Saying it brings back so many bad memories because last time we tried to get a picture, we tried to get a picture last time, and these people were like literally purposely standing in the way, and honestly it was freezing cold. And then we had to get in the. We found a shortcut actually to get into the Louvre, but this time we'll just see it from the outside. It's been quite a few hours since we last filmed. Emily's taking a power nap. She had like an hour nap almost. It was like 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, it was 45 minutes at least. We are ready to go to Bambini, which I'm really excited about. I've heard lots of good things about Bambini restaurants. This is my outfit. I think I've saved my favourite one. Um, it's actually from Nasty Girl and it's like a little play suit. I really think it's cute. It's very Paris. I've got a headband on from <laughs> I just look at your feet. Yeah, just don't look at the feet. I've got my Uggs on. Um, comfort is key. Comfort is key. And Emily's very pink and fluffy today. Got PLT dress. Yeah. And a little pink bow in, which is cute. Yeah. I've arrived at Bambini. Looks nice on the inside, but the place to the left, not sure what that is. This looks nice though. Inside looks so nice. The bar area does look quite nice, actually. We are in Bambini. We're at the bar. It's actually quite interesting because you can watch them and you can see the pizzas turned in over there. I tried moving that lampshade. I told you, don't did I? I tried moving this one and it's stuck. I don't know what to get. We saw someone get a pizza that looked really good. I think it's the Parma pizza. It looks absolutely huge, but does look nice. I was going to get pasta, but now I'm like in two minds. We got our cocktails. They've just made us up a strawberry cocktail. We're going to get a pizza. We finally decided. <laughs> yeah. Don't change your mind now. I did just look over that. Oh, pasta. No. What do we do? Pizza or pasta? I, I can't decide. Basically, it would be two I'm pastas sure. or one pizza to share. He's going to come over and say, huh? so what do we say? <laughs> this is like the third time he'll come over. Our pizza's come. I don't know where the slice is. <laughs> They're probably quite big slices. Well, you got to make it. Wait, it's for your birthday. Enjoy. Happy birthday. Did you go? Let's come. Are you gonna go? And we've got. That's like That's up. a big donut. I didn't expect them to be that big. <laughs> they look like they're gonna. Are they filled? Are they filled? Yeah. And the tiramisu. Oh. Is it? It's what's it filled with? Cream. It's crazy. I didn't know they were filled. Also, they're so much bigger. Yeah, they are bigger. Wow. That is insane as well. These are good desserts. Wow, wow, wow. I probably would say I prefer this one. What, the term? That's how I like it. It's not strong though. No. That's I like it. Wow. Tasty. Left Bambini and we are at the Arc de Triomphe. I'm so cold right now. It's like in my bones. I don't think we've ever actually seen the Arc de Triomphe, have we? Um, in Paris. We saw the one in Barcelona, but we've come to Paris and never seen it. And this is the reality. Me and Emma had a photo shoot, and now we are in our Uggs. This is a look. Come to Paris in summer if you want to take pictures outside. Um, huh? We've got a jar. This oh. is Arc de Triomphe. Oh, oh, I'm so glad we don't have to do this again. It is our last day in Paris. We are all ready to go out for our first proper hot chocolate technically from Paris, the thick kind of traditional one that everyone gets with the cream. We're gonna go to Correct this morning. There is always a queue, we've passed it twice now and there's always been a queue. And last time we came, there was a queue. So that is probably gonna take up a little bit of time. We've packed up the room, which is honestly the best feeling because we absolutely trashed this room. I've got an all Zara outfit on today, my Prada sunglasses. And then I was gonna wear it with boots, but I did wear the boots yesterday. So that's the only thing. So instead I've got my little, teddy bear socks and uggs on which i was like i'm still unsure i feel like i don't know if it goes or not 
but I guess it's something oh, a little ow. bit different to wear. Emily is in red today. So, yeah. do you want to say where yours is from? Uh, TikTok shop, free little thing. Where is the shop? Boo Zara. Zara. Or Primark, actually, Primark. Um, shoes of Boohoo, Primark socks. We have made it to Carette, and it's actually not too bad of a kit. I don't think this is going to take this too long. Last time it was all yeah. bad. And she just poured our hot chocolate in. So, we've got very thick hot chocolate and our whipped cream which I'm looking forward to so before we demolish it I thought I'd quickly grab it on the vlog the, did I get the what? Did you get messy? yeah I did I quickly did it because I was like basically this is the aftermath it's really nice it's super thick but it is good we've demolished the cream not that much more actually thank god that's two though this is order for two so basically you get like probably one and a half each, I reckon. Yeah. Emily in Paris. <laughs> it feels so weird that it's fair real. I, don't, I can't take myself seriously. The hot chocolate to be fair isn't overhyped, like it is actually really yeah, nice. Yeah, it, is. it is a good one. Basically, it's like a meal in itself. It is a meal in itself. <laughs> Last time we did it with croissants, didn't we? And the croissant went everywhere. Yeah. And I remember it was so cold, the cream didn't melt. This time it melted, so this was a lot more of a success. We were just coming for hot chocolate, and now we've got our, well, we were basically, we were gonna go to this steak and chips baguette place, but it's a little bit far out, and we looked at this, and everyone was getting the club sandwich, which looked insane, so we've decided just to eat here. We got the chicken club sandwich to share, because it's absolutely huge with coleslaw, and a side of avocado, which is so, like, perfectly sliced. I don't know how they managed to do that, with a little bit of bread, and an iced coffee. It looks, to have no half and half I think we have gone back to this was the spot we was at the other day but it's a very nice spot yeah it's spilt that was about two pounds of coffee that, that just came out top, no we have just been taking some pictures on the steps here I feel like we went very, very like parrot Parisian <laughs> With our, this is like proper tourist mode activated right now. Now I'm gonna try and find the Emily in Paris. Ba oh, no, we to go that bakery first. Oh. The other one, we want to go back oh. and get it. I want to go and get one um, for tomorrow. So, oh, oh it's sweet. that's what I'm wearing now. Yeah. Walking to an Emily in Paris destination. This is a part of Paris we haven't been to before, but this is the Pantheon, I think. And it seems a bit like there's like, must be a uni or something nearby. We found it, that was easy. So, that's the Pantheon there. This is the Emily in Paris apartment. So she lives up the top, doesn't she? That's there. That's Gabrielle's restaurant. And that's the bakery that she goes to. Yeah, the restaurant looks smaller. I didn't realize the bakery was literally right next to it either. I feel like I'm living in Emily in Paris right now. <laughs> you are Emily in Paris at this moment in time. Me and Emily have made it. Look at us with our matching coats again. Um, we are in the taxi back to the Eurostar. Everything has run very smoothly today, which is good. But I thought I would just end the video here because we're literally just gonna get on the Eurostar, head home and have a good night's sleep tonight, I think. If you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. What's been your highlight? To be fair, we were saying what's the best like thing we've eaten, but I feel like there's been a lot of good food this trip. I don't know if there's been a necessary yeah. highlight. No highlight. All highlights. No highlights. All a, all a highlight. Okay. I will see you on Tuesday where I'm taking Emily to a surprise to destination. No, but I said to a surprise destination. <laughs> there will be there will be another vlog. I slipped up a little bit so she knows the first letter. God's sake. But um yeah, I'm taking Emily for one day only, flying there and back on Tuesday. So we literally are home for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, flying on Tuesday. So it's gonna be exciting. But yeah, that has been the Paris vlog. <laughs>